off and racing. A bit of a slow start for She's a Double Take broke towards the back of the pack. Going towards the lead is Fall Campaign. Fall Campaign to her inside Diane's Comet. They'll go by the finish line for the first time. Fall Campaign, Diane's Comet in on the rail is Tis Her Way, followed by a pair of grays. We have Pit Pliantly and She's a Double Take. Then it's back to Wendy's Fine Wine and Miss Quillow trails the field as they go through the turn. On the outside, it is Fall Campaign, who has neck advantage over Diane's Comet. That's a gap back to Tis Her Way. Pliantly right to her outside in the three path, it's She's a Double Take, followed by Wendy's Fine Wine and Miss Quillow can see them all. The opening quarter, a moderate 24 and one as they go down the backstretch. Fall Campaign showing them the way. She has about three lengths over Diane's Comet. Then it's a ways back to a pair of grays. The, when, the Pliantly, She's a Double Take to the inside. There's Tis Her Way, making a run from off the pace. Wendy's Fine Wine beginning to pick up some Steam from the back of the pack. She is narrowing the margin here. Fall campaign holding Diane's Comet at bay, but here comes Wendy's Fine Wine, pliantly also coming up the rail to the outside. She's a double take. Tis her way backing off of it, and Miss Quillow beginning to make up some ground. The half went in 49 and 3, still not really cooking on the front end, but Fall campaign, she's backing right out of it now. It is Wendy's Fine Wine who has taken command here. Wendy's Fine Wine has the advantage. Here comes pliantly Miss Quillow also with a big run from off the pace. Hanging steady as she's a double take. Diane's Comet as well as they go through the turn. There's a quarter mile left to go. Wendy's Fine Wine says, catch me if you can. She has the advantage. Here comes Pliantly. Miss Quillow swinging wide for her bid as well as they, as they hit the top of the stretch. Wendy's Fine Wine. She has the advantage. Here comes Pliantly. Pliantly's being asked for some run, trying her best, but not really getting to Wendy's Fine Wine. The main danger looks like Miss Quillow from off the pace here, but it is Wendy's Fine Wine. 16th left to go. Wendy's Fine Wine looking for the wire. Here comes Miss Quillow. Pliantly not today but it is Wendy's Fine Wine looking for the wire. Wendy's Fine Wine gets it over Miss Quillow right to the inside pliantly in fourth Diane's Comet. Final time of 154 flat. Hold all tickets till race number two is official.